Relatively late in the year, the seas calmed and the huge numbers of people waiting for their chance in North Africa saw an opportunity. A wave of boats left Libya all at once, and this was the result. This was just one of dozens and dozens of little boats containing in total 10,000 people. Some of the pictures captured by the Italian Coast Guard during this operation alone show women giving birth immediately after being rescued. Babies entering the world in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea, an exhausted mother sleeping next to them. And this then was the result of just one rescue out of dozens, people huddled by the hundred on their way to the Italian island of Sicily, where a Europe increasingly hostile to them awaits their arrival. We were able to save 1,004 people, mostly of Eritrean and Nigerian nationality. 16 women were pregnant, some of them in the ninth month. Three women gave birth on the ship thanks to the sanitary team on board. So we went from 1,004 to 1,007. Two baby boys and one baby girl have joined us during the voyage to Catania. The head of the Italian Red Cross repeated his claim, and indeed that of Pope Francis, that indifference to this humanitarian tragedy was killing people. Fifty or more died during these journeys, despite the best efforts of the rescuers from several organisations. On this boat, several suffocated in the hold before rescue arrived. So yet more pressure on the Sicilian and Italian authorities to find somewhere for them all to go. The Italian government remains bitterly disappointed with what it sees as a complete lack of support from the rest of the European Union. Europe's leaders are surely hoping that winter comes quickly, even if it means trapping them in Libya. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera.